It doesn't take much to beautify your house. Just take a look at mine. I just made use of my leftover fabrics to create those wall arts. So gorgeous. Happy new month all and welcome back again to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how I created those beautiful wall arts. Kindly watch this video to the end and don't forget to subscribe when you are done watching. As you can see, I have three different fabrics and I have um, my pot covers. I also have that white plate. That white plate will serve as my third pot cover. Hope you understand. So this is my biggest pot cover. I'll just be drawing two circles with it. Then this is the medium one, drawing two circles. Then I'll be using the white plate as the third circle. Okay, so here is me just cutting out the circles. The hardest part of this DIY is the cutting. Look at me struggling with the carton because the carton is a very thick one. At some point, my husband had to assist me. So from what I said earlier, I should have six circles. When I was done cutting out those circles of different sizes, I grabbed my smallest pot cover as you can see me do. I also drew about six circles which I also cut out. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. Don't worry, as I continue you will understand better. So here is everything. These are the six circles I cut with the smallest pot cover. Then these are the other six um circles i cut with the three different pot covers now coming to the business of today i grabbed my fabric i folded it into two on the wrong side so here is me just adjusting it in a way that i'll be able to get enough fabric that will go around the cutout so i've just placed my cutout on it and here is me just cutting around it so you can actually add about three or four inches to the original um, circumference of the circle okay to me i felt i even added too much here but it's okay so here is the second fabric which i also folded into two the reason i'm folding it into two is because i want to get two pieces of the fabric yeah so that's why i folded it into two so this is the medium sized um, cutout and lastly, I will be cutting out the third one. And here is the fabric, which I have also folded into two. I will do the same. So the other six um, cutouts, those similar circles, I will use it to cover the back of this DIY. So that was why I cut those ones out. I will not be wrapping them with fabric because obviously there is no need for that. I'll be notching around the edge of this fabric for easy folding. So you can just also determine how wide you want your notches to be. Okay. So when I'm done notching, I will just be applying my hot glue on the cutouts. Then I will wrap it up.
when I was done wrapping it up, I then covered it with the cutout. So this is how I'm going to cover the other five circles. Hope you guys understand. Here is everything just applying glue to the necessary parts. So I have two purples, two yellows, then two blues. You may be wondering how I place them on the wall. Well, I didn't do anything too serious. I just grabbed my paper tape, although your normal sellotape tape can work. So I just cut like a piece, then I wrapped it that way in a way that the sticky part is facing up. Can you see it? So you can put as many paper tapes as you want, or you can also use the normal sellotape tape because um, while doing this video, I ran out of this paper tape, so I had to complete the whole DIY process with my celly tape so very easy okay just place as much as you can for better grip on the wall It's now time to place them on the wall and you can decide any pattern you want. You can decide to make it straight, you can decide to make it slant, but I preferred this um, slant pattern. Okay, guess what? You can also beautify your offices with this DIY fabric wall art. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, kindly give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, kindly let me know in the comment section. And if you are yet to subscribe, please do. And don't forget to share this video. Thanks so much for watching and see you all in my next one. Bye.